learn about the complex permanent tissue of the plant. In plants, there are mainly two types of tissues, meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. We know that meristematic tissue is of three types, apical meristem, lateral meristem and intercalary meristem. Similarly, permanent tissues are of two types, simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. In the previous video, we discussed simple permanent tissues and their types. So, let's know about complex permanent tissue in detail. Tissue that is made up of only one type of permanent cells that perform the same function is called simple permanent tissue. In contrast, the tissue that is made up of more than one type of cells and all the cells in the tissue work together as a single unit is called complex permanent tissue. For example, xylem and phloem are complex permanent tissue. In plants, xylem and phloem do transportation. These both together works as a unit and form a vascular bundle. That's why these are called vascular tissue. A vascular bundle in which cambium is present between xylem and phloem is called open vascular bundle. For example, plants of rose, mango and pea have an open vascular bundle and a vascular bundle in which cambium is not present between xylem and phloem is called closed vascular bundle. For example, plants of banana, sugarcane and wheat have a closed vascular bundle. In the vascular bundle of stem and leaves, xylem is present in the center and phloem is present on the outer side of xylem. In roots, xylem and phloem are present in alternate ways. Plants in which xylem and phloem are present are called vascular plants and plants in which xylem and phloem are not present are called non-vascular plants. Xylem and phloem, that is vascular tissue, helps complex plants to adapt and live in terrestrial environments. Let's talk about vascular tissue xylem. Xylem is made up of four types of cells. Xylem tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma, xylem fiber, together forms xylem tissue. Among these cells, xylem tracheids, vessels and xylem fiber are dead cells and xylem parenchyma are living cells. All these cells are like tubules connected to each other. The structure of tracheids and vessels is tubular and their cell wall contains lignin so their wall is thick as well as there are holes in their walls. These are connected vertically to each other like a perforated pipe. Through these, the minerals Salts and water are transported in vertical direction from bottom to top. The wall of xylem parenchyma is thin and is made up of cellulose. Xylem parenchyma stores food. The cell wall of xylem fiber is thick and they mainly serve to provide mechanical support to the plant. Xylem transports minerals, salts, and water absorbed by roots to the stem and leaves. The four types of cells, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fiber together form the vascular tissue phloem. Among these cells, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma are living cells and phloem fiber are dead cells. Like xylem, all cells of phloem are connected to each other like a tube. The structure of phloem sieve tubes is tubular. 
and in their walls holes are present and in these sieve tubes a sieve plate is present the companion cells are adjacent to sieve tubes through the sieve plate companion cells provide energy for the movement of food the wall of phloem parenchyma is made up of cellulose that stores food the wall of phloem fiber is thick they are long unbranched and have needle like pointed ends that's why these are also called bast fibers the phloem transports the food formed in the leaves to different parts of plants that is the phloem transports food in both upward and downward directions let us now look at different plant cells with the help of an activity for this we will take a stem of any plant and cut a very thin section of it now we will keep this section on slide and pour some drops of saffronin and glycerin on it after this we will cover the section with cover slip on examining the section with the help of microscope this type of figure will be observed we can see that in the figure structure of all cells is different that is in stem different types of cells are present in this figure we can also see the position of complex permanent tissue xylem and phloem in stem from this figure we get to know how different cells form a group that is tissue all these tissues perform the different functions in plant in this way today we learned about the complex permanent tissue of plant of plant